Hi everyone, Merry Christmas and wish you a very happy new year 2024. I hope you had a great 2023 because uh, I know I didn't. But that's okay. <laughs> Life happens and we just move on from one year to the next and hope that the next year is better than this one. Now I thought that after a long very strange year when unexpected things happened, one of my constants was always cinema and that one thing that I could go back to which was the screen. So I thought I would share with you some of the great films I watched in 2023 and some films that I rewatched that I would like to share with you so that you have a lovely list ready to watch in 2023. So let's get right into it. So the first film I would highly recommend is Frances Ha. It stars Greta Gerwig, the director of Barbie. It's also written by Greta Gerwig along with Noah Baumbach. Frances Ha is just a lovely film especially when you're a young adult and you're going through life and you mostly feel like a failure. I'm sure that feeling is not alien to you. Frances Ha is one of those films which lifts you up and takes you through your life the way you're living it. And by the end of it it's like a warm cozy hug it's also a great study in black and white and how a black and white color palette can be used in cinema so watch that so the next film i would definitely recommend is an animated film called the mitchells versus the machines it's a beautiful film available on netflix not only is it a wonderful comedy set in a post apocalyptic world but it's also a great look at how technology is controlling us today and where we are as a society but at the same time it has that heart that feeling of oneness that comes from facing difficulties that has been missing among these mitchells who've just been fighting among themselves so it's a beautiful family film to watch and i recommend you check it out like i said on netflix right now the next film i would definitely recommend is joyland many of you may have heard of joyland many of you may not have it's a pakistani film it's a landmark moment in south asian cinema because it's It's a film that talks about queer issues while also questioning what masculinity is, what manhood is, what toxic masculinity deprives men of, and it's a beautiful take on love as well. It's one of the most human films I watched this year for sure. It's a very important film to come out of Pakistan where being queer isn't that easy. Joyland is available to watch on Prime Video, so please go ahead and watch it. Now the next film I would suggest is again a Pakistan. any film this one you may not have heard of it's called zindagi tamasha and it's available on youtube because the director actually couldn't find a place to release the film because of all the backlash and bureaucracy related roadblocks he was facing in pakistan and yet again this is a film that talks about masculinity and uh, sexuality and the way society views you and it's also an ode to old pakistani film music it's actually quite a lovely film it's a little hard to watch in places because it's sad but it's also a beautiful thing to watch especially when it's available for free on a platform like youtube so go ahead and give it a watch now this next one it's mother by bong joon ho and let me tell you how much i love bong joon ho ever since i watched memories of murder and parasite but when i watched mother it just took me to a different level mother is a vibe for me <laughs> mother is incredible in terms of the way it layers characters and shows you what a mother is while taking a lot of dark turns along the way it's a liberating film to watch i can't describe it simply talking about it you have to go and watch it you know i don't think mother is currently streaming anywhere but i'm sure you can find a way to watch it now the next film you should definitely watch if you have watched some amount of bengali cinema is bird of dusk a uh, bird of dusk is actually a documentary about the filmmaker rituparno ghosh who was one of the finest filmmakers to ever have lived when it comes to bengali cinema the film captures his life and his work and the beauty that resided in his world and how his brain worked and what really happened at the end of his life so it's a beautiful film it again talks about sexuality because it was something very important to ritu porno ghosh bird of dusk is available on hoi choi so please go ahead and watch it now this is a documentary that i'm going to suggest it's called about love about love is available on mubi 
एंड इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल टेक ऑन अ मिडिल क्लास मराठी फैमिली लिविंग इन मुंबई द डिफरेंट जेनरेशन विद इन द फैमिली देर लव स्टोरीज और समटाइम्स वियर्डली स्टोरीज दैट डोंट फील लाइक लव स्टोरीज दिस इज ऑल हैपनिंग इन द मिडल ऑफ अ फैमिली वेडिंग एंड इट्स अबाउट द लोनलीनेस इन साइड ऑफ लव एंड द टॉक्सिसिटी एंड द ब्यूटी एंड ऑल ऑफ इट ऑल टूगेदर एंड बाई द एंड यू रियलाइज एवरीथिंग दैट लव हैज टर्न दीज पीपल इन टू इज सो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम हु दे कुड हैव बिन इफ दे वर ऑन देयर ओन ओवरऑल इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल टेक एंड आई थिंक यू शुड इंटरप्रेट इट ऑन योर ओन सो वॉच इट इट्स अवेलेबल ऑन मूवी What are you waiting for? Go ahead. The next film I would like to suggest is a Tamil film, Kanchi Varam, by of all people Priya Darshan. Yeah, the same Priya Darshan who you know for say a uh, Bhool Bhulaiya and other comedy films. This is actually an incredible film that talks about the plight of not just Kanchi Varam weavers but several weavers all over the country who can't afford the fabrics they weave. It has some phenomenal acting by Prakash Raj, the lead. So I would suggest you check it out right. now it's currently streaming on Z5 the next film is obviously one of those academy award sort of films it's after sun it was mostly talked about in terms of paul mescal's acting as the lead but after sun is also a beautiful film when it comes to say a father daughter relationship and it talks about depression it talks about mental health and how a child perceives it it's brilliant actually the way it's done it's something you should watch on a slow day when you are ready to take on a little bit of emotion when you know that you won't break down from experiencing an overload of grief it's available on mubi go watch it right now now here's another korean film the call the call is a netflix film it's a thriller and it's a full on entertainer there's no cinematic value that i care about with regard to this film doesn't mean that it's not a great film it is it's a wonderful film it is well crafted it has some great cinematography great performances and um, it keeps you on your toes till the very end even like there's like a sort of post credit sort of situation and you think it's over but uh, Uh, it's not it's it's thrilling so and it's got two female protagonists and i i just love that it's my vibe so watch it it's on netflix the next thing you have to watch if you haven't watched it yet is while we watched the documentary by vinay shukla about ravish kumar it's still doing festival rounds at the moment it was shown at the mumbai film festival it has unfortunately also been illegally leaked on youtube uh, i don't know if it's still there but it was but i hope you find a legal means to watch it it's a very important film we don't know if it will get an official release in india considering the circumstances but it's a heart wrenching film you can't miss it in terms of a documentary it is well crafted it is very understated it is never too loud or in your face but the weight captures your imagination and the way it captures your emotions rather is incredible and it makes you question the democracy we are in right now so i hope you can watch it next year if it is released for sure and finally since it's christmas season please go ahead and watch klaus on netflix it was nominated for uh, an oscar but uh, that's not the reason you should watch it it's an incredible origin story of santa claus and not in the way that you know of you know the saint nicholas and what not it's done in a poetic way in a way that instills the spirit of christmas in whoever watches it and throughout its characters and uh, brings together such a wholesome family film you cannot miss it it's on netflix right now so So if you're looking for something to do on Christmas day definitely watch Klaus with your family. Now those are the films that I recommend watching. There are a few films that I missed this year that I'm waiting to watch or that I haven't been able to watch yet. One of them is Borderlands. It's a wonderful documentary and it is available on YouTube. I haven't watched it yet so I'm not recommending it yet but I am looking forward to watching it next year. And Kathal the Core. I think it's pronounced Kathal. I'm not sure. By Jio Baby. It's a Malayalam film that came out this year. I loved The Great Indian Kitchen by Jio Baby so I am definitely looking forward to watching Kathal whenever it releases on OTT so yeah that's one thing I'm excited about also aren't we all excited about Squid Game season 2 uh, there's also Stranger Things Stranger Things is coming next year right am I am I wrong I don't know I'll I'll look it up again but yeah I think Stranger Things is coming on so I'm hoping next year is going to be a lot more exciting in terms of films and shows I think currently Hindi cinema is going through a very sad 
that phase when not a lot of good stuff is coming out. Uh, of course, I'm also waiting for Kennedy by Anurag Kashyap that will release next year, I hope. But besides that, Hindi cinema has left me a little disappointed this year. Besides Konkona Sen's short film in Lust Stories, The Mirror, there haven't been a lot of films that captured my imagination this year. Even though I was pleasantly surprised by Rocky or Rani Ki Prem Kahani, I really love that film. I think that's uh, Karan Johar's best work till date. So, uh, this has been a year of ups and downs and I for one thought that this year I would really take off and post every week if possible and then life happened and <laughs> I wasn't able to do what I set out to do. But no excuses, no worrying about the past. We take that in our stride and we move forward and we hope to do so much better next year. Just in case you missed my last two videos, one was about Aparna Sen's Pishima character in two of her films and the second one was about the film Court. So you can check them out, the links will be in the description. Do watch them, please uh, let me know what you think, watch the films that I suggested and let me know what you think about those two. And I will see you next year with a lot more content, I assure you. And have a great holiday season. Bye!